So, you're casually scrolling the Roblox front page, and you came across a game called Lure Game. You scroll through the pictures on the front, and at first it just seems like a simple rogue lineage like game. You look at the likes and dislikes, you read the description, work in process potential bugs, you see you can purchase, open skill menu, drop, and you learn all the controls. You see only 64 people are playing, but over 100,000 people have visited. And you decide to give it a shot. What happens? Oh, so you decided to click that green join button. You get welcome to the screen saying, choose your name wisely as it is final. Three choices in front of you. You just pick one at random and you come follow. You spawn into a mysterious world, not knowing what's going on. The very fabulous face. Darkness everywhere corroded in black, wondering what will happen if you fall. You see players everywhere, you might ask, how do you play? And many players will ignore you, wondering why, but to be feared the stitch. You find a sword on the side, wondering how you grab it, and then you remember off the top of your head it was G to purchase. You got a sword. You attack the first person you see, hoping to kill him. And then you get bored because they don't fight back. Out of curiosity, you click M and see you have three skills. You start buying them to your keybinds, O and T, and then see a passive, one-handed stance. You start going across the dark path you just discovered, knocking someone off the edge. You feel the bottom, wondering what's down there, wondering what would happen if you fall. Entering the deep stomach, you continue left, going up the steps to destiny. All you see is shadow and darkness and nothing else but yourself. You see names in the background, wondering who's calling out to you. You made it to the first spot, what some would call the first destination. You see weird NPCs that look like machines. They shred your HP and you do nothing. You wonder what's the point in fighting these beings. One knocks you off the edge, and you go back to the stove. You start to feel like the more you play, the more you become afraid of the dark. You find a new location. You enter. It looks like a prison. All you see are different cells wondering what to do. You end up leaving from boredom. <laughs> and then you see a dude. You click the statue, anchoring your connection, but you decline. You go through the darkness. Wondering what you'll see next. You end up conquering your fear of these metal beasts and decide to try killing one. You wonder why so many people are here trying to fight these beasts. Wondering what's the point in it. Wondering did you gain or do you lose. You successfully yeet. Never mind. Many people here with axes, swords, great swords, and go <laughs> wondering what, how they obtain these weapons, killing others out of competition for resources. And bam. Seeing your HP slowly diminish, you start to feel your life and you're back at rock bottom. You decide to take the different route you never went. You see two new houses that you've never been. One boarded off, probably for good. Another boarded off, but you can see stuff inside. One thing that looks like a spear and a vase. See a lantern that you can purchase, but you're too poor to afford. You <laughs> try to kill as many as you enter the depths of the deep stomach. As you run through the darkness, trying to conquer these shadows, you get put a choice, left or right. You see a sign saying, Bulwark in the hallways. You get intrigued and go towards the hallways, but that was your first mistake. As you go, you see two wooden planks that were suspiciously placed.
So yeah. You see. Okay, I'm done with this. I'm trying to lime clip. This is a video on Logan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to like be all fancy, but I can't do this anymore. So I'm gonna be talking about why I think mobile game is underrated as flick, and I find it like a perfect game. Not perfect. All games have issues, but I think it's great. I can't do this rhyming crap anymore. But I'm on my own, and mobile game is pretty much when you first see it. All those things I said, trying to rhyme, or your thoughts when you spawn in. So pretty much, I'm probably going to hop on my main account in just a second. I'm going to try, uh, don't worry if you're playing this game and you don't want to get spoiled. I'm not spoiling anything. I shouldn't be. But yeah. But these are most players' immediate thoughts while spawning in. This is a no beginner's guide, as the title of the video should be that. But this is just why I think it does great. Because when you think of rogue lineage-like games, of course there's rogue lineage, but you might think of games like uh, fighting game, faded like that, there's League Lineage, uh, there's the Vast Realm, there's just other games. I know there's, I think, Pika Lineage, there's just a bunch of random games, just all supposed to be, like, Rogue Lineage, but there's this one that I've started playing recently called War Game. I often call it War Game 2 by accident, but it's, so if I call it that by accident, don't judge, but you spawn in and you're confused. I'm going to talk about pretty much why I think this game's really great and probably my favorite rogue lineage like game, I'll call it. Like games like, just games supposed to be like rogue. I'm pretty sure Raguzu even said this game was great, so, yep, the creator himself of rogue. But you spawn in in this mysterious town called Bulwark. You look around and all you see is shadows in the ground. You see NPCs and you communicate with most, but most don't say anything like important or interesting. Like these NPCs, most NPCs don't do anything. You see gold or silver, whatever that currency is, and wonder how you get it. So most people will run around and say, how to play. Many will not answer, but some might. For example, some might say get better, some might just kill you. You explore. So pretty much, okay, I gotta stop trying to lie. No. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm lagging really badly. But, this has fixed, because I haven't been playing the best Roblox, like, Roblox hasn't had the best games out right now. Not many that I've been like, whoa. <laughs> that guy's dead. Oh wait, no, he's not. That one doesn't knock back, I forgot the T, but <laughs> I'm getting off topic. But you pretty much explore and then you end up going to a path. You take different paths until you find something new. You end up, uh, I'm not playing on my main actually because I don't want to spoil anything on that. You'll see spoilers just from that, but you'll see spoilers in main game. As long as spoiling in this game is just telling somebody what's going on. But you usually go down this path. Many people, for me, this was my first path. I don't know about everybody else. I decided to run all the way up here, and one of the best things I'll say about this game is the mystery and the lore. I've never cared too much about lore of most games, especially Roblox games, but like, the game's called Lore Game, and it does a pretty good job at me at some points. I don't question the lore often, but every now and then I'll be playing and I'll be like, I wonder what happened here to cause this. I wonder what's the lore of this character, or this area. I wonder what's happening in the lore here. And the mystery surrounding this game, I'm telling you now, the best way to play this game is just a closed mind. Just join the game and just play. Don't ask anybody for help. And, hey, free money. But, don't ask anybody for help. Don't read any trellos. Don't watch videos. By the way, you kill those, you get um So. I thought that guy was trying to eat stuff. But I'm gonna sell that and I'm gonna jump off the edge. Most people will buy the spear or the great sword at when they're playing. Some people will buy axes and daggers. I'm not gonna show the dagger location. It's not crazy secretive, but most players won't know what it is, where it is, unless they get told. So, as you can see, there's the axe. I'll probably buy that and use that because I never use this weapon. So, bam. Let me try it out on you. So, bam, 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 and bam. Seeds? Bam. Try to parry. Double team a noob. <laughs> Let's go. Well, I kind of started this, so I can't really complain. 
how did that hit? Why am I getting double teamed? I didn't even attack you. <laughs> yeah, players in this game won't double team you if they can't win a fight. Like, this person's kind of getting noobed by a fushy. What I would call one in this game, at least, or consider. And many people, like, they keep trying to infinite combo me, because with more than one player, you probably can do that. Because they're not good at the game. These are the kind of players, I would say, that are the ones that watch certain videos. There's videos on YouTube. Uh, most people know them. I haven't watched them, but I know players watch one or two to find out, like, the location of something. And what's it called? I'm hoping... And pretty much these videos are made by a hacker, which I do not respect. And they show all the locations of stuff in this game, which... If I have to say, isn't really cool. I find the bet, and I wouldn't watch <laughs> watch videos just because I feel like the whole experience is automatically ruined once you do that. Bam! Axe is actually really good. On my main, I used to use spear, and I started using sword after I did some special stuff and got some special stuff. Up. But in this game, you might see people with special abilities like that. I'm not gonna talk too much about them, because I think it's funner to find out by yourself. But there are special abilities you can unlock for, I think, every weapon in the game called a rune. All of them doing something different. I'm not gonna talk about how you get them or anything, but every weapon in this game has a special thing called a rune. And I think they're epic. It changes combat. Weapons in this game, all of them feel nice. When I first played, I tried out X and I hated it, but it's actually pretty fun. <laughs> You will see automatically though, most people use great sword and most people will use a uh, <laughs> sword, I mean not sword, spear, the bill hook it's called in this game. A weapon like that has multiple stances, backhand which people will refer to church knight, and then there's also just front stance. You're getting dogged. Yeah, I don't see too many people use that this thing's freaking awesome. I know I keep getting sidetracked, but it's fun to fight. In this game, you get it's really satisfying knocking people off the edge, I'll say that, and then... I feel like I'm lagging. There's no block button, if you click F, it's just a quick parry. No blocking. Oops, wrong guy. That's the, oh, I hit him by accident. And bam. Get noobed! <laughs> this guy has... Really good armor too, so he's kind of bad. Damn. <laughs> GG. Okay, yeah, this weapon's awesome. I'm not even joking, this weapon's awesome. I might have to find out where the room location is. This guy's mad. Mad. <laughs> he's legit coming back after losing. <laughs> oh, and then he got help, but I get distracted way too often. But, uh, yeah. You explore, I'm going over it really briefly because I don't want to spoil anything, but you get armor, you start off with this one, you automatically see this set of armor. There's different races, none of them do anything, but the probably coolest one's the pot race. Why am I getting double teamed? Noob. Why am I- No, no, I'm getting attacked by three guys, I didn't even attack that guy. <laughs> but yeah, you explore the map, you find secrets, uh, do different quests to unlock different things. I'm not gonna go talk into quests, you see different abilities activated, different weapons. And then yeah, most people will never tell you what to do. Like, they'll never tell you. Every person when I started, I asked people how to play, stuff like that, nobody tells you. And nobody like legit unless they're like like almost nobody will tell you how to play pretty much like unless they don't care most people won't and I don't tell people how to play in my well I don't get asked well I've been asked once but it's fun or not to know it's the mystery of the game it's like what I hope deep work into like when that comes out mystery there's gonna obviously be parts of they're running towards the edge because they suck I'm telling you now whenever somebody sucks at the game 
I do this too. Well, not even suck. Whenever they know they can't win a fight or they want it done quickly, they run towards an edge. <laughs> Bam. But yeah, fighting PvP is pretty fun unless you're fighting a one of like this dude. I've never fought a one. No, I fought one. I fought it like I fought a couple of Dago one of A lot of people with Dago just won. Because the skill on it. I'm not gonna say that skill. <laughs> like I'm being really careful with no spoilers because I don't want any for you. Oh that was close. I'm gonna do this fight and then I'll probably end off. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just trying to keep things brief, so yeah. I know there's rules in this game, not to say stuff or else you'll get quote unquote stitched. I've never been stitched and don't know anybody that has, but apparently you'll get muted in game or whatever, but yeah, that's why uh, go play this game, it's criminally underrated. It's a great game. I freaking love it. They do need to add more stuff so I can do more stuff. I've pretty much completed it, but it's really fun. No, I want to kill you. You're a joke. Bam. Oh, wait, I'm lagging. I think I got this. Okay, one more fight. <laughs> like I said, fighting people and knocking people off edges are really fun in this game. I don't think any weapons really bust. Well. I think spear is kind of annoying, that's kind of why I stopped using it, just because everybody did. And I like using some of sword skills, but I stopped using spear just because everybody uses that and great sword. There are some people that use sword, but that's probably the third used weapon. And then after that it's just dagger and axe, because axe, not many. I like it, don't get me wrong, the main combo is you do the two and then the all, and then, yeah. The thing is, oh. Uh, it has really short range compared to something like the Great Sword or anything. I'm gonna do this. But, no, I'm done. But yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Go check out this game. It's freaking awesome. And yeah, see you guys next time in Pingman. Ow!